Good morning, this is Whitney Nosley. I'm here with Kim Clevenger from the Insurance Center, and she's got another topic for insurance for us today. Um, in East Tennessee, we have a lot of sinkholes, and if you're not familiar with that, Kim will gladly explain what a sinkhole is and how you need to be covered for sinkholes. Okay, what a sinkhole is, is it's a landform created by the subsidence of soil, sediment, or rock dissolved by groundwater. And so what it does is, and you don't always have to have something catastrophic happen, sometimes the underground water gets moved if somebody's building a building next to you. So you may not be doing anything on your property, but somebody's building a building down the street, they cause the groundwater to shift, it shifts, and then you have a depression. We all heard about the guy in Florida a couple of years ago that the sinkhole just collapsed and his whole house collapsed. I don't think they ever found him. I don't think they ever got him out. But you, so you think about that that happens in places like Kentucky where they have mines or Pennsylvania where there's a lot of mining or Florida. But we have a lot of sinkholes here in East Tennessee. We had a neighborhood in Oak Ridge where I know there were about seven homeowners there. None of them had sinkhole coverage and all of them had to abandon their homes because of a sinkhole and so they had to the biggest investment of your life and they had to go someplace else and find another place to live. My aunt had a condominium down off of Paper Mill Road which is the center of Knoxville and we could literally reach out from her bedroom and grab grass from outside. <laughs> it cost thousands of dollars to put cement and pour concrete under there so she could just sell her house, her biggest investment of her life. And then, of course, we all heard about the house in Gettysburg last year where they had a big sinkhole collapse. So what the state did to address this is they passed a law. There used to be a law that said an insurance company they could provide you with sinkhole collapse coverage or not provide you with it. If they did provide it, they couldn't charge for it. Well, there's a new law now, I know, I know. Are they going to make any money? <laughs> <laughs> but there's a new law now that says that insurers in the state of Tennessee are required to offer sinkhole collapse coverage. If they do offer the collapse coverage, then they can charge you for it. So you need to go and call your insurance agent and find out, do you have sinkhole collapse coverage? And if you do not, how much will it cost? It's not very expensive. And it's one of those little things that everybody needs to know and check about. So if you don't know, give us a call at the Assurance Center, 865-675-6500, or call your agent. Thank you, Kim. You're welcome.